Are you mental? Hide! We need action sequences. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Marvel side characters that stole the movie. You got heart, kid. Where are you from? Queens. Brooklyn. For this list, we're going over the supporting characters in MCU films that managed to steal some or all of the thunder of the leads in their respective films. We'll only be looking at movies, not TV shows. Otherwise, it'd be Agatha all along. If there's a Marvel character you think stole the spotlight in your favorite movie, try to get us to notice you in the comments. Number 10. Trevor Slattery, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings Iron Man 3 had everyone up in arms over the Mandarin turning out to be a failed British actor named Trevor Slattery. They gave me things. They gave me this palace. They gave me plastic surgery. They gave me things. Did you just nod off? However, color us surprised when Trevor turned out to be a scene stealer in Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. He and his furry companion Morris provided some top shelf comic relief during the movie. Morris! I can see you. You're real. All this time I thought I was hallucinating him. In addition to his dynamite comedic moments, Trevor also serves a surprisingly important role in the story, interpreting for his otherworldly animal companion and helping guide Shang-Chi and company through the realm of Talo. Morris says he can guide you there right now. You can get through the maze without waiting for the path to open. But, and it's a big but, it's very dangerous. We're never underestimating Ben Kingsley again. Number 9. Peggy Carter, Captain America, the First Avenger Agent Peggy Carter is introduced as Steve Rogers' love interest in his debut film. Gentlemen, I'm Agent Carter. I supervise all operations for this division. However, Peggy is no damsel in distress. Her bravery, intelligence, and charisma are every bit as compelling as Captain America's. Agent Carter is only unable to take a more active role because of the attitudes of the time towards women engaging in war. You told me you thought I was meant for more than this. Did you mean that? Every word. Then you gotta let me go. I can do more than that. Then again, it may be just as well that she doesn't play a bigger part from a narrative perspective. Peggy steals every scene she's in, and it's still Cap's movie. It's no wonder she received a spin-off series, as well as superpowers of her own in Marvel's What If. Number 8. Luis, Ant-Man It's a tough feat to upstage Paul Rudd in the comedy department, but Michael Pena manages it with surprising regularity as Luis. Damn, they find out who you are? Yeah. Baskin Robbins always finds out, bro. Baskin Robbins don't play. You want some waffles? Hell, yeah, I'll take a waffle. Scott Lang's former cellmate Luis helps his buddy get back on his feet after getting out of prison. Even if that does mean getting back into the criminal lifestyle. And here comes the good part. Carlos says, yo, man, this guy's got a big ass safe just sitting in the basement, just chilling. Of course, Ernesto comes to me because he knows I got mad demon skill. Luis's excitable, nervous energy is endearing, and he has excellent comedic chemistry with just about every other character he shares a scene with, whether it's Scott, Hope, Hank, or his fellow wombats. Plus, the guy knows how to tell a story. Thank you for the coffee, ma'am. It's not too often that you rob a place and they get welcome back because I mean, we just robbed you. Number 7. Korg, Thor Ragnarok Thor Ragnarok in general is one of the funniest MCU movies, but Korg manages to stand out even among the rest of the cast as arguably the most hilarious character. Over here, a pile of rocks waving at you. Here. Yeah, I'm actually a thing. I'm a being. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Korg. I'm kind of like the leader in here. Despite being a revolutionary turned gladiator made of rocks, Korg is a soft-spoken, easygoing guy. While he's not exactly a crucial character, Korg steals attention in every scene he's in, thanks to director Taika Waititi's pitch-perfect delivery of Korg's interjections. I'm looking for Korg. Who's asking? Oh, no, you're asking. Just, is, is there anyone else asking, or is it just you? The Lord of Thunder sends his best. The revolution has begun! Whether he's trying to banish the ghost of Loki or making a classic rock-paper-scissors joke, Korg is an MCU character we just want to hang out with for a day. Piss off, ghost! He's freaking gone. 
Number 6. Spider-Man – Captain America Civil War Let's be real here. Civil War is basically an Avengers movie in all but name. Nice job, kid. Thanks. Well, I could have stuck the landing a little better. It's just a new suit. Wait, it's nothing. Mr. Stark, it's, it's perfect. Thank you. Yeah, we don't really it's need it. And Spider-Man managed to steal the spotlight from all of them. To understand why, you have to remember that Marvel had just gotten the rights back to use Spider-Man in the MCU. Hey, everyone. Good job. It was a big deal, and we were all excited. Seeing Peter Parker's excitement about working with the Avengers was downright infectious. Plus, it didn't hurt that the new Spider-Man looked great, had memorable one-liners, and had great chemistry with the rest of the cast. You have a metal arm? That is awesome, dude! Number 5. Mysterio – Spider-Man – Far From Home Speaking of Spider-Man, his second solo MCU film has the spotlight somewhat stolen by the villain Mysterio. Quentin Beck is immediately intriguing, since he seems like an otherworldly warrior from another universe. His initial relationship with Peter is quite fascinating, too. You're not a jerk for wanting a normal life, kid. That's a hard path. But even after the reveal that Beck is behind the elemental attacks through illusory holograms, he remains a great character. While he is another bad guy with a grudge against Tony Stark, Beck has a point. Giving a weapon system to a teenager? Maybe not Tony's best idea. Yeah! Then everyone will listen! Not to a boozy man-child! No! Not to a hormonal teenager! No! To me! Plus, his last act of revenge has far-reaching implications. Number 4. Yelena Belova – Black Widow Poor Natasha Romanoff. She finally gets her own movie and she gets upstaged by her own sister. Why do you always do that thing? Do what? That thing you do when you're fighting. And the, like the, this, this thing that you do when you whip your hair when you're fighting. Yelena Belova is another Black Widow assassin raised alongside Natasha in one of the weirdest family situations in the MCU. When the two have a reunion, Yelena manages to not only go toe-to-toe -to -toe with and alongside her sis, but also proves to have a hilarious sense of humor, too. Okay, you got a plan or shall I just stay dug and cover? My plan was to drive us away. It's a shit plan. Her dry sarcasm, frequent teasing of Natasha, and the fact that she's the surprising emotional core of the film made her a definite highlight of Black Widow, if not its best character. That wasn't real. Who cares? Don't say that. Please don't say that. It was real. It was real to me. You are my mother. Number 3. Eric Killmonger – Black Panther Eric Killmonger is rightly considered one of the best MCU villains. The mercenary is a usurper of the throne of Wakanda, but he rules over every scene he's in. Don't trip. I'm gonna take it off your hands for you. These items aren't for sale. How do you think your ancestors got these? You think they paid a fair price? Or did they take it like they took everything else? Killmonger has more charisma than Wakanda has vibranium, and that stuff is everywhere. His tragic origin story and desire to empower Africans and their descendants worldwide makes him sympathetic. Y'all sitting up here comfortable. Must feel good. It's about two billion people all over the world that looks like us, but their lives are a lot harder. Wakanda has the tools to liberate them all. Although his methods are brutal and ultimately selfish, we can't fault his message. It's just too bad they killed him off, as we would have loved to see more from this captivating villain. Just bury me in the ocean with my ancestors that jumped from the ships, because they knew death was better than bondage. Number 2. Loki – Thor Speaking of the MCU's best villains, Loki is another one of the greats. His first appearance made that abundantly clear. I love Thor more dearly than any of you, but you know what he is. He's arrogant, he's reckless, he's dangerous. You saw how he was today. Is that what Asgard needs from its king? Although Thor may be the name of the film, Loki's brother gets a lot of the spotlight stolen from him. 
Loki, despite his duplicitous and manipulative nature, is not only charming and witty, but he's also sympathetic. So I am no more than another stolen relic, locked up here until you might have use of me. Why'd you twist my words? You could have told me what I was from the beginning. Why didn't you? You're my son. I wanted only to protect you from the truth. All of his misdeeds in the film come about out of his desire to be acknowledged by his family, which is very relatable. Certainly more relatable than Thor. You're a talented liar, brother, always have been. It's good to have you back. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to destroy Jotunheim. While the spoiled, angry prince does get better in later movies, his first outing kind of belongs to Loki. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Other Spider-Man – Spider-Man No Way Home All due respect to Tom Holland's Spider-Man, we love him. But come on, the big buzz before and after No Way Home came out was his fellow Spider-Man. To work with them is honestly the highlight of my career. Getting to see Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield's Peter Parkers again after so long was a real treat, and the way they play off each other and Tom Holland is fantastic. Andrew Garfield in particular really impressed us with his emotional performance. Me and Toby arrived and all of their arms were just open. Anytime Spider-Man can meet Spider-Man in any medium is going to be amazing, and Spider-Man No Way Home did not disappoint. They both cared so deeply about the characters mm. and what their characters, what their, their journey had been as Spider-Man, and it was so beautiful to see all of you guys connect on that. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.